So where do you think you can find the clearest lake in Wisconsin? What about these state famous waters? And why do you think these little guys are all dressed up? We'll be answering all of that and more as we discover serenity at the top of Wisconsin in Land Lakes. Hello and welcome to Discover Wisconsin. This may look like a creek, but it's actually the Wisconsin River. This is where it begins. Hi, I'm Emmy Fink, and we're in Lando Lakes, a great place for you to begin your next Wisconsin getaway. Sitting at the top of the state, about 20 minutes north of Eagle River, the Lando Lakes area, or Lando as the locals call it, provides a certain beauty that can only be found in northern Wisconsin. Okay, so what's the first thing that comes to mind when you hear Land Lakes? I don't know about you, but it gives me the feeling that there might just be a lake or two in this part of the North Woods. Well, it's true. And with over 40 lakes to choose from, you can bet your sweet bottom dollar there's always something to do on the water. Now, I'm typically more of an extreme sports type of person, and you'd most likely find me out kayaking or water skiing, but today, I thought I'd go for a change of pace and experience a bit of relaxation while fishing. And I'm no fish whiz, so I found an expert guide to help me out. And there's your fish. Now you set a hook really, really hard and reel. Reel, reel. Keep reeling. No, you missed them. Dang it. Try it again. I'm beginning to realize just how much of a virtue patience really is. It's all different fields and all different people coming up for the same thing, relaxing and having a good time. And whether you catch fish or not, they usually enjoy just being up here. They, they all want to come back. You know? Well, he's not very big, but I did get something. We'll let him go. It might have been a little rocky at first, but with Bruce's help and a bit of patience, we were finally reeling them in. Look at her, she got another one. As nature's most abundant and powerful resource, these lakes take on dual roles, providing a wide array of water activities and giving serenity to the top of Wisconsin. From the Cisco chain and Lac Butte's air to the clearest lake in Wisconsin, Black Oak Lake. So Walt, can you show us how you do tell the clarity of the lake? We lower this over the side. As you see, it's brilliant white and, and, and dark black. And you just basically lower it. It's a very simple process, and they like it simple because that, again, reduces vari variability. And as it goes down, it just keeps going and keeps going and keeps going until it finally disappears. And there's really more to it. What does this all entail? Well, this is some of the chemistry, and it's like a mini traveling chemistry lab. We take a water sample, we fix it in acid, send it to the State Lab of Hygiene in Madison. They test for phosphorus. We take another sample, we run it through a filter with this pump, we set the filter. Wow, they're not messing around with their tests, but the clearest lake in Wisconsin sure does make for a great view, doesn't it? But that's not the only enjoyable scenery in Land Lakes. With an abundance of plant life, several bicycle and hiking trails, and some pretty impressive waterfalls, the sites within the Ottawa and Nicolet National Forests and Sylvania Wilderness are endlessly dazzling. Download a map of biking and hiking trails around the Sylvania Wilderness by visiting our website and choosing Land Lakes as your destination. Coming up, we'll be amping up our heart rates with a few cyclists. And we'll find out what's got this man singing out loud. We'll be right back. We're back exploring more of Land Lakes on Discover Wisconsin. Have you ever heard the term grab -ar? <laughs> Maybe I should just call it the great annual bike adventure along the Wisconsin River. Don't worry if you've yet to discover this epic biking event. We'll fill you in. Every summer, cyclists trek 500 miles along the Wisconsin River, starting at the headwaters in Land Lakes where each participant dips their tires in the water as a blessing for a safe passage. 
Riders journey from Land Lakes to Muscaday with stops along the way for meals, lodging, and simply sightseeing along the Wisconsin River. During our visit to Land Lakes, we discovered another way to take in the scenery. We're taking you to greater heights for another perspective of this impressive landscape. And if you're gonna take in a view from the Cisco chain, my advice, take the view from up here. It's fabulous. It's kind of like a, an unknown resource. You go on a Monaco chain or Flambeau chain or Eager chain, it is solid boats, solid cottages. Here, look at, there's not even a boat in the water today. It's like an unknown resource. Plan your visit to Lando Lakes during airport days and their free pancake breakfast. Just log on to our website for this year's schedule. One more thing that may surprise you during your Land Lakes visit is the shopping. We also carry unique one-of-a-kind items that are good for Northwoods decorating and gift giving. And we try to find items that are made here in Wisconsin and also uh, throughout the United States. We think that one of our goals is to provide education for our customers as well as entertainment and as well as merchandise. And we can't forget the tackle box. They've been catering to outdoor enthusiasts for 75 years. I try to have items in here for customers to purchase as a reminder of their wonderful experience here in the Northwoods, something they can't find in other places. The shops aren't the only unique parts of this town. They've got the people to match. I love Dairy Maid. I love Dairy Maid. I love Dairy Maid too. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a great day. You Easy. too. Looking for something a little more hands-on? Bring out your innermost creative self by participating in a Lola Center for the Arts class designed for both kids and adults. And if you're really fascinated with art, you'll want to check out the Artistry Gallery, which includes pieces that were created by local artists. So I have to ask, how does a town well known for fishing, hunting, and snowmobiling become so cultured in the arts? In this area, we're very fortunate to have multiple artists living in this uh, beautiful Northwoods because it gives us an opportunity to be inspired and uh, enjoy the, the natural environment and the area here. But that's not all the art Lando Lakes has to offer. Art Impressions Day is a Lando favorite, and now one of mine too. I mean, how can you go wrong with all of these original decorative items? You'll find everything from jewelry, pottery, homemade rugs, and even antler art. Hungry from all of the shopping and exploring the arts in Land Lakes? My suggestion, treat yourself to an experience that's truly Wisconsin. If you've never been to a true supper club before, Land Lakes offers plenty of choices. Just stop in for a great dinner, drinks, and oh yeah, don't forget the dessert. Download the Land Lakes Vacation Planning Guide with a list of all of their restaurants and see my entire tour of the Lola Center for the Arts by visiting discoverwisconsin.com and choosing Land Lakes as your destination. Coming up, we'll show you a few lodges and camps to consider when planning your next family vacation. And later, we'll find out what to do when there's plenty of fresh powder covering the ground. Stay tuned. We're back, experiencing serenity in Land Lakes on Discover Wisconsin. Did you know that Land Lakes used to be known as the town of State Line? In April of 1948, its name was changed to bring attention to their many beautiful lakes. And since Land Lakes beginnings, there seems to have always been places waiting for your visit. Welcome to Sunrise! Built for both adults and children to enjoy together, Sunrise Lodge's current owners have been welcoming guests since 1968. Hopefully we treat everybody as friends and family. Well, we've heard from so many people that just love it here. There's no place else they come. Why is that, do you think? Oh, I think all the activities and just personnel, employees we have. The amount of outdoor action you can find here might seem endless along the waterfront, and just about anywhere on the resort property. It looked like so much fun, I had to join in. Oh yeah, touchdown! Oh, touchdown! 
We also go down by the lake and have breakfast one day a week. We have cookouts, we have baseball games, and the kids just look forward to doing all these things and getting to know each other and having lots of fun. But that's not the only place to consider when planning your next family getaway. There's a certain look and feel that comes to mind when you think about Wisconsin's Northwoods, and the Gateway Lodge has spent decades capturing just that for all guests to enjoy. Oh, the coziness of the place. This lodge is absolutely wonderful, as you can see by just this lobby. People feel so comfortable with coming out here in their pajamas in the morning and having continental breakfast. They feel like they're at home. The Gateway Lodge has much more to offer, including newly renovated suites, an indoor aquatic and spa area, an ideal location adjacent to a golf course and with bike, ATV, and snowmobile trails right out the front door. One thing you might not know about the Gateway, there was an airport behind the lodge when it opened in the 1930s, attracting an interest of some pretty famous A-listers, including President Dwight Eisenhower, Abbott and Costello, Bob Hope, and Lawrence Welk. Kids, if you don't recognize those names, just ask your mom and dad. Adults, you may want to ask your parents, or maybe even your grandparents, if they've heard of this next Land O'Lakes family resort. It's been around for over a century. Started primarily as a hunting and fishing lodge, Bent's Camp has transformed into a fully-fledged family resort. And one of the great things about Bent's is that year after year, there's families that come back just like Shannon and Shelly. Ladies, why have you come back each year? Um, just the memories. We've been coming since we were two, and so that's 28 years, and um, every year, it's only one week, but it feels like this is our cabin, even though we don't own it, and um, just the memories just compile and compile. Memories that have been created over the years by countless family guests, starting from the very first Bent's Camp Cabin. So this cabin is over 100 years old. This is really where it all began. This is where it all began. This is, uh, this is an original. This is over 115 years old, and uh, it's obviously been somewhat refurbished, but uh, all the guts are still the same. It's super unique. We have pictures of Charles Benton who started this camp back in 1896 sitting right here um, on, on the porch. This was his summer home. So it's, it's every time I walk past here, I get a, you know, just a, a neat little feeling. While you can enjoy Ben's camp throughout the year, having different experiences during every season, one thing never changes. Their family style fish fry every Friday night. And if you know me, I'm a bit of a fish fry fanatic, and I highly recommend stopping here, even if it's just for dinner. Every visit to Wisconsin's North Woods and Land O'Lakes will create new memories and family traditions for generations to come. Post your stories on our Facebook wall or visit discoverwisconsin.com for more information on any of the resorts you've seen today. After this short break, we'll discover what Land O'Lakes has in store after the summer heat starts to fade. And we'll finally tell you why my adorable new friend here is all dressed up, right? It's serenity at the top of Wisconsin as we discover more of Land O'Lakes. So Lando is known best for the lakes with an abundance of water activities and scenic tranquility. But does that mean come fall it's time to board up the windows and head south? Not a chance! Kicking off the autumn season, you can join in the Colorama festivities. People gather throughout the town for decorative art, crafts, and music. And you might see a few familiar faces around town too. Bring along the kids for games at the pavilion that run throughout the day. Whoops, careful. And then in the evening, break out your poodle skirts and leather jackets. All are invited to a 50s style sock hop. Don't be shy, I know you've got them hiding in the back of your closet. And what's that one thing that autumn can't really be autumn without? You guessed it, vibrant fall colors. What a great day it was for a bike ride with a few new friends on a winding trail surrounded by nature's very own form of art. Fall also means it's time for hunting season. So get your rifles and dogs ready. 
Later in October, it's time for the Land O'Lakes Annual Rough Grouse Championship of America. But first, we better get a few lessons and some target practice. Don't let the gun handle you, you handle the gun. We're gonna have a great time out here today and we're gonna, we're gonna shoot some targets and everybody's gonna have a huge amount of success today. All right. Pull. Pull. After a few more pointers on the field, it was time to test our aim at some flying targets. Pull. Okay, so I'm not a natural, but I was determined not to give up. Bottom of the target, touch the bottom of the target, shoot the target. All right, ready? Ready. Pull. That a girl, you got a hunk off of that one. Nice. Well, I might not have been able to enter that competition after all, but it was a blast learning from the best. Have a few shooting tips of your own? Post them on our Facebook wall and visit discoverwisconsin.com to learn how you can enter the Rough Grouse Championship of America. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. It's a common song and saying up north. Come winter, it's time to grab the cross-country skis for the trails, ice skates for the rink in the park, and snowshoes for just about anywhere. Gather a couple friends and play outside all day long. Ice anglers love this chilly weather too. Look how many pike we caught already, but it's at least 20 to 30. Where are his gloves? And another one. He's fighting good. Oh. It may be cold, but even the little ones are having yeah, fun. Yeah. We'll kiss them goodbye. Um, ew. Have a need for speed? Or just a love for winter scenics? The beauty of the forest in the wintertime, in the white as we say, is just phenomenal. But these sleds aren't the only way to reach high velocities in the snow. The Three Bear Sled Dog Race is an event I have been waiting to cover. And the day is finally here. Let the races begin. Dogs come barreling down the trail with all their might, pulling each racer by sled or skis. I think these two are missing something. Oh, and we can't forget our promise to explain this. Anyone with a pup can spotlight the season's latest threads in the Puppy Fashion Show. But what about the kids? They can experience the sled dog races firsthand by entering the mutt race. So since this is my first time mushing, instead of racing in the open class, I'm gonna go with the kids in the mutt race. Ready? Ready, guys? Hike! Hike, hike! Any time of year is a great time to head to Wisconsin's North Woods, and it doesn't get any further north than Lando Lakes. From winter back to summer, there are memories and experiences just waiting for you. They're not kidding when they say you can find serenity at the top right here in Lando Lakes. You can find it too. Just visit discoverwisconsin.com. I'm Emmy Fink, and join us next week as we'll discover more of Wisconsin. You know, Wisconsin is filled with so many exciting things to do. So travel Wisconsin and find out for yourself. There's a destination just waiting to be discovered by you. For more information and bonus video from the episode, go to discoverwisconsin.com. While you're there, click on the Kadiddle link to watch entire episodes from this season or past seasons. And don't forget, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Discover Wisconsin Radio all across the state.